Well, obviously, uh, we threw a lot out in there today. Uh, you know, I think with our team, we've got to learn that uh, when you got a team down, you got to continue to put your foot on the gas and continue to um, push the pedal, I guess you want to say. Um, you know, we put a lot of pressure on them, but we had a lot of chances in the first period and we didn't score on them um, and then let them hang around. They played a little better in the second period and, uh, you know, got a Got two goals that basically went off of our own players. Um, you know, when we kicked in with our skate and one uh, went off one of our players' shoulders, so a bit unlucky in that regard. But uh, to Brown's credit, they they did a good job defensively protecting uh, the front of their net, and um, we weren't able to cash in. Uh, a little bit of an unfortunate break in the overtime. The referee lost sight of the puck when we uh, had the back door wide open and got that goal. But uh, that's the game of hockey. So the whistle blew before the, the puck went in? Yeah, the, the referee was on the other side of the goaltender and he couldn't see that it was over on the other side and he blew the whistle before the puck went in. What was the main, uh, what was being discussed uh, during the, the lengthy break after the goal, no goal that was scored? Well, he, uh, uh, the referee came over and that's what he told me. He was uh, kind of apologetic to be honest. Um, but uh, he said, you know, we lost sight of it. We blow the whistle when we lose sight of it. That's the rule um, and I just wondered if they knew for sure that they blew the whistle before it went in uh, so originally uh, he's, so he just said well I'll go and review it and, uh, and we'll make sure that was it. The goal early by Bunton in, in the first uh, as you mentioned really uh, you've been trying to emphasize the red to come out strong you know from the job of the puck did they do that today? Uh, in your opinion? Yeah, I thought we did. I mean, we carried the play. We had a couple of, I think we had maybe three breakaways in the first period um, and didn't score on any of them. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, give credit to their goaltender. Played really well. Took a lot of shots uh, tonight. I thought that we controlled the play in the first period especially um, and created a lot of chances, um, but we didn't finish on those chances and uh, we didn't take advantage of that opportunity and we let them hang around and uh, eventually they got a couple on us and then it became a dog fight. What was their, their reaction uh, along the bench when the, the game became tied in the third period? Along our bench? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, you could see that they were, you know, it was a tough goal, you know, shot and it goes off one of our defensemen's skate and, you know, goes in. Um, you know, so you could tell they were a little dejected about the goal, but, you know, I think uh, they started rallying and realized that, you know, we could get it back. And um, I thought they worked really hard after that. I thought we put a ton of pressure on them uh, from that point on. We just uh, couldn't get the job done. And it seems like, again, the, the team's resilience can, continues to be there throughout the season. Yeah, you know, we just got to find a, a way to finish those opportunities. You know, we, we were creating the chances. We were creating the shots. We were getting uh, the opportunities. Um, we just didn't bury them, you know. I think last night was kind of the opposite, you know. I, I didn't think we created a lot in the first period against Yale, um, but on the chances we got, we made them pay. Uh, tonight, I felt like it was the opposite. Tonight we got a lot of chances, but we weren't finishing, so uh, we just got to find a way to get it done. And uh, your take on Lenka Sirdar picking up the first goal of her career today? Yeah, nice for her. She's done a really nice job for us as a freshman this year. Been really strong for us, especially uh, defensively. You know, she's done a really good job on our penalty killing, and it's one of the only, uh, one of the few freshmen that's penalty killing for us this year. Um, and is real strong down low in the defensive zone. Uh, so nice to see her uh, pick up a goal there tonight. Your early thoughts on another pivotal weekend next uh, week when Clarkson and St. Lawrence come in? Yeah, you know, it's uh, <laughs> you're going to be saying that every weekend from here on out that uh, they're all going to be pivotal. There's only, what, five weekends left. So um, we're fighting to try to get into the playoffs from here on out. So uh, that'll be the goal to, uh, you know, to get ourselves a spot in the playoffs, to give ourselves a chance to, uh, to fight for the championship. But we know there's about five or six other teams that are in the same boat right now. So it's going to be uh, going to be exciting and it's going to be uh, uh, we're going to have to be consistent in our play.